kids, I'm Henrietta Hedgehog, and today I'm going to show you how you can cut up two or more congruent figures in different ways and still have equal parts. These two rectangles are congruent. I'm going to cut them both up into fourths, but in different ways. Next, I'm going to take one piece from each rectangle and show you that they cover the same amount of area. See, it worked. The keys are that the rectangles are congruent to start with, and I cut them each into four equal parts. That means that their two parts cover the same amount of area. Let's try it again with three rectangles. These rectangles are congruent, and I'm going to cut them each into six parts. Are the pieces equal? Well, I see that this pink one was cut into six equal parts, so it represents one-sixth. And the yellow one is cut into six equal parts, so it represents one-sixth. But this blue one was not cut into equal parts, so you cannot say that each piece is one-sixth of the original. That means that the pink and the yellow pieces both cover the same amount of area. Let's try it one more time. These rectangles are congruent, and I'm going to cut them into thirds. Next, I will shade one-third of each. What do we know about these parts? Is L greater than M, less than M, or equal to M? Remember, the rectangles were congruent to start with, and I cut each one into three equal parts, so the shaded area equals one-third of the original. That means that the area covered by L is equal to the area covered by M. Okay, now it's your turn to answer a couple of questions.